Today I'm going to show you step by step how to create this effect in Canva which is very trendy at the moment. We're going to be using many premium elements so a Canva Pro account will be very useful. If you guys are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Here I am in canva.com and we are going to start by selecting a doc type. I'm gonna go for an Instagram post as I usually do because this one is a square format. So this is going to be fine if I post it either on Instagram, Facebook or even YouTube on the community tab. So I'll go and create a blank page. Here we are in the Canva editor and we're going to start by creating the layout. So we're going to recreate the look of Instagram or the Instagram feed. So we're going to start by adding some frames. So let's go to elements, go below and we're going to select grids. Now I'm going to adjust the height of this grid and now let's duplicate this frame. Okay, so more or less we have the basis of the layout. Now what we would like to add are the buttons. So let's go to elements again and search for heart. So here we have the heart and let's change the color to black so we can see it. I'm going to make it smaller and position it around here. Now I'm going to add a guide actually. So show rulers and show guides because this is going to help me later on to create the next section of this layout. Okay, so here we have our heart button. Then let's try to find the comment button. I think this is going to work well and let me flip it horizontally so it looks more like the actual button on Instagram and let's position it next to the heart. Now let's add the paper plane and this one is going to work fine. I think I just need to tilt it a tiny bit and this one should go around here. Now I just need to add the icon that goes on the right which is the save icon and let me try to find an icon in graphics that looks like the one on Instagram so I think this one can go well and add another guide. Now let's add a text box to replicate the like counter so pressing T to bring a text box and for this text box I'm gonna use a font called Aileron Regular. I think this is close enough to the font that we see on Instagram so let's add a big like counter and then likes. Okay, now let's position this text box around here and let's start creating the next section in which we see the information on the post that is below. Now we're gonna add the space that we see in between the two different posts. So press R and then create this little section over here. We can change the color to gray and actually I'm gonna make it slightly lighter. Okay. Now I'm going to add two lines, so one above this rectangle, going to make it very thin and I'm going to select the first shape of line. The color that I'm going to use is this gray over here and then I'm going to duplicate the line. This is just a little tiny detail but I think this is going to make the difference on our design. Okay, now we're going to recreate the section that we see on top of this post. So that will be the profile picture and the name. So let's add a circular frame. Let's go to elements, go below, frames. Now let's search for gradient. And here we have a gradient that I think it's going to look very close to what we see on Instagram. So let me place it inside the frame. And now let's adjust the size. There we go. Now we're going to duplicate this frame, Control C, Control B, position it on top of the current gradient, make it a tiny bit smaller and this time go to color and select white. Now we're going to again duplicate this frame, so Control C, Control V and make it even smaller and this time we're going to add our photo. So this will be the profile picture, right? So let's go to uploads if you have your photo ready and let's add your photo over here. There you go. If you want to be more precise, 
use the zoom option and adjust the size of your frames so in here we just need to pay attention to the aspect ratio and make it very similar to the one that we will see on instagram and i think that looks fine now let's add the text that will go next to our profile picture so let's duplicate the likes text box and add our name or our handle and finally i'm gonna duplicate this text box to add the location that sometimes people add on their posts so let's say sydney australia and now i'm gonna adjust something else here because this name and the likes should be in bold so something like this more or less let me preview how our design is looking. I think I'm just gonna adjust some tiny details to make this layout look more like Instagram. So maybe making this rectangle a little bit thinner. And lastly, we're going to add the three dots that are usually on the upper right corner of our posts. So for this, I'm just gonna duplicate this text box and type three little dots aligned to the right and change the color to gray so it should look something like that and now i'm going to remove my rulers and guides so i can take a peek to my design and see if it's actually looking like instagram if not we can always keep adjusting and making sure that it looks like instagram so i'm gonna move these elements and let's see how it looks okay we have the instagram layout ready and now let's add the fun part which is the 3d effect so let's go to photos and because my theme is going to be wine tasting i'm gonna go for this type of photos so let me search for vineyard to see what i find and i think this photo can work in here so let me bring it up or maybe even like this one or this one these two photos are looking fine so let me bring it down a little bit and now let's try different keywords to find the photo that we're going to position on this frame so glass of wine and see what we find in here and i think this photo can work so let me bring it here i'm just gonna adjust the image i think i'm not gonna work with this glass of wine so i just want to have the background and the people around something like this you can make it work okay so i really like the bouquet effect on this photo so i think that's gonna be nice and also the green behind the people now let's bring the 3d elements to this photo so let me go up because we can use this glass of wine so i'm gonna go for this one and i'm gonna position this cup below and now i'm going to try to find the bottle that is going to be pouring the wine so let me search for red wine to see what we find in here okay i found this bottle which is going to work perfect for this project so i can either position this bottle to the right or i can flip it horizontally and position it on this lateral also i'm going to give you a trick in here because if you are going to be using with photos or images on top of frames it will happen this that canva is going to try to get the image inside the frame so to avoid this i'm going to lock the frame that we have on top and at the bottom so like this i can play around with these images and not having this effect of the image going to the frame every time so going to adjust the size of these elements and i'm going to bring this glass of wine to position forward like this it looks more realistic finally to add another 3d effect to this photo we're going to add a shadow so i'm gonna add the shadow to the bottle so i'm gonna select the image go to edit image click on shadows and then i'm gonna use drop but you can use any other option if you prefer i'm gonna click once and then twice to access this 
menu. Like this, we can alter or modify the shadow that we see behind the bottle. So if you want the shadow to look softer, you can add more blur to it maybe add some more transparency you can alter the offset or the angle if you wish i think this is looking great so click on apply and there you go if you guys ended up creating your own design with this tutorial please 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 do share your designs or your final outcome on our facebook group we're going to leave the link in the description so we can all see your creations and if you want we can also give you feedback I'm gonna read the comment of the week which is from Miriam and she says hi I'm your avid follower I love Canva and I really want to learn everything in Canva because I love graphic design and I'm switching my career as CSR to a freelancer career you really helped me a lot to start your tutorials are easy to understand and follow you are amazing thank you so much for this wonderful message I really really love to read your comments when you are sharing stories like this one and i'm really really grateful because this means that our educational content is making a difference in some people's life if you guys liked this tutorial and would like similar tutorials i'm gonna leave you a playlist over here with similar projects that you can follow and be creative with Canva. I'm also going to leave you guys our affiliate link here so you can enjoy 45 days of Canva Pro for free and do similar projects like this one. I think this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye!